All right, hello there, two-stroke turbo fans. Thanks for checking out my channel. That's what I meant to say, my channel fans. This is my channel fans dog here. This is Stella, the shop dog. She's uh, been with me seven years now. She's a good puppy, ton of energy. You don't know it, but she is off at the moment. When she turns on, she is a bottle rocket. That is one active dog. What are we doing here? Speaking of active dogs, I'm an old dog. I've been doing this for a while, almost 40 some years. I'm not gonna allude to my age, but older than I look. I've been working on these cars for some time. This is a personal project of mine. I've, been work I've had this car for some time. I've uh, been working on customer cars all week and I just like wanna work on my own stuff. It just uh, kind of slows me down. It's therapeutic, I enjoy it. This is a 91 Honda Accord that belonged to a good friend of mine. I brokered a deal with a customer of mine. They bought it, had it for a couple years, and were T-boned on the side here. Um, it's a pretty bad T-bone. It uh, bent the B-pillar a bit. You can see the um, this door does shut, but not well. Um, there's a gap there, and there's a gap here and the windshield is cracked in a circular motion, which means this pillar is probably bent. And somehow I got roped into buying the car back from insurance, and I had grand plans to take the body off the car and put one of my micro cars bodies on it. But now I'm to the point, it's been here eight or 10 years, it's not running anymore because the gas has gone bad and I just need to do something with it. So I need to get it running, so I can't push it around. It's too hard to push. This car has been sitting for so long that the rotors are rusted, the drums are rusted. It doesn't want to run. And to prove that, I'll show you. I'll put a hot battery in it. Let's see here. What do we got? Turn the steering wheel. 259,000 miles. Just barely broke in. I'm going to turn the key on. And it is a manual transmission car, but I know it won't start. I'm going to prove it to you, not even with starting the car. So I turn the key on, and the fuel pump should run. I don't hear a fuel pump. And I um, last week I put a gauge back here on the fuel filter, and you can see oops, it's reading zero. Should have clicked on. The fuel pump should have ran for 10 seconds. It should have, you know, 20 to 30 psi. Even with bad fuel, this thing should run. So it has no fuel pressure. So I thought, well, let me diagnose this. So I dug around under the dash. I pulled out the master relay. Where is it? Way up underneath there. There's a relay that controls the fuel pump. It had power and was sending power back to the pump. Uh, the next thing I did is cut a hole in my floor. Yep, I actually did that. So I snipped the metal and i cut a little access hole to get to the fuel pump because otherwise you got to drop the tank and i just didn't want to do that it's my own personal car and you can see i've got a test light hooked up right now and i want to check to make sure the fuel pump has power if it doesn't have power then we're just chasing ourselves so i'm going to turn the key off and we turn the key back on again and we're going to listen to my test light whoops just honk the horn there. Okay, so I'm getting ready to turn the power on or turn the ignition on. We should have. We got nothing. Huh. Thought it was getting power. I must have bumped something. Let's try this again. My test light probe came on out of there. Yeah, it did. It popped right out. I got to figure out how to put this in better. Okay, so my test light is actually not lighting. I thought I saw it light up. Uh, I could be wrong, maybe it's intermittent. So what I did was I dug around underneath the dashboard here and I pulled out what's called the multi-circuit breaker. It's for the ECU and the fuel pump. Fuel pump does not have a fuse. Okay, so I plugged in a new one, which goes right up in there, right about right there, that thing with the orange thing on it. And Maybe this was my problem all along. So I'm gonna turn the key on and we'll see if we get a light in the back. Yep, we do. So maybe the pump is good. That would be great. 
Dig the pump out. Okay, let's hook it up and see what happens. The feeling is the pump has been sitting for so long and this car has been sitting for so long and it's got bad gas in it that it's probably, gonna, the pump is probably going to short out. Didn't hear the fuel pump come on. Let's see if it's got pressure. I think the pump is bad. Yep, no pressure. So I think what's happened is the pump has seized getting power and it's causing the relay to go bad that's my guess that pump is old it's original so let's pull the pump out okay so we're working on our Honda Accord where the gas pump fuel pump is in the back seat or behind the back seat and we've got it all loosened up I think we can get ready to pull it out it's been in here a long time let that drain a little bit and I'll pop it right in our bucket. Yeah, that's the original pump. Let's take this over to the bench. And we're going to put a new pump on it. We're going to put a, what is it? I think this is a 100 liter pump, maybe an 80 liter pump from the factory. And we're going to triple that to a 340 liter pump. Just in case we need the extra flow. So let's open up the box and put a new pump on Okay, so we got our new, slimmer, more powerful fuel pump hooked up to our bracketry. This is the old one, which is about two and a half inches wide, and the new one, which is half that, and supposedly better. We'll see. Let's put it in there. It goes in there just like this. Kind of got to wiggle it around a little bit. Okay, so the, oh, the old fuel pump is out, the new one is all tucked back in there. Let's set that down without making a mess. Put all my wires. You got to be careful if you cut a hole like that, you don't cut yourself with sharp edges. I don't recommend you do that, but this car was going to get cut up anyways, and it still may. Let's see if it works. Now you got to listen very closely to hear if the pump runs. Yes. Can you hear the pump running? Let's check the pressure. Yes, we have 35 pounds of pressure. So this thing should start, finally! Holy cow, it's been cranking on this thing forever. So new relay, new pump. Let's see what happens here. Pushing on the clutch. Good to hear this thing running again. It's got a squared off exhaust. Runs really good. How much pressure we got? Whoa, 50 pounds. That's a lot. That's way more than it ever had before. That's a bump in pressure. Wow. And where's our throttle? Get this thing out of the shop, it's gonna start stinking up. Finally, I can drive this car instead of pushing it around. Stella, are you happy? It runs. Put the prop rod down. That's a lot of fuel pressure. Oh, finally get to drive this thing. to have this thing running again. Now I just got to do something with it. It's 
cool car. See if we can bring her back to life. Want to go for a ride in a Honda, Stella? You do? Oh, I bet you do. You want your bone? You can have your bone. Oh, that's a good puppy.